What do you get when you put a brand new sim on an empty lot with no money, activate all lot challenges, and expect her to have 100 babies? You get the Extreme 100 Baby Challenge. Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411 and I am back with my sim self, Miss Rhea Avis, and her ever-changing brood of children. We are not in Hanford on Bagley. We are actually on Mount Kamarabi. Real quickly, there is a rule regarding vacations that you may not go on vacation unless the matriarch is not pregnant and there are no infants in the house and the entire family has to go. But there is no limit to how many times you may move during the course of the challenge. The one caveat is you must always have the same lot traits and if you have any of the same lot challenges, otherwise you can just move. You can just use the evict option and the original house stays exactly as you left it and then move them into a different house and move them back. So I wanted to kind of mix things up because the Avis family has more than enough to do what they need to do and so let's introduce some interesting gameplay into our world okay so yeah we're on Mount Kamarabi today is talk like a pirate day tomorrow is Christmas that's why I chose Mount Kamarabi for this weekend if she has an average of two pregnancies a week I have a minimum of 20 weekends to visit all the worlds. so the goal is to visit all the worlds something else to do. All right, so let's get back on with the show. Now this house is actually one that I created for my not so berry generation one, the mint generation. I just plopped it down, recolored everything, made it look very Mount Comoraby. Uh, currently not generating any power. We should be getting power here pretty quickly, but right now we don't have any power. So we have the main room and the master bedroom over here with closet and a master bath kids bedroom kids bath this would be a second and a third kids bedroom but they're the gym and the office respectively and then the guest bath okay so that's the that's the house short sweet and to the point it is just like her house it's a hacked tiny home and we should be generating power any minute here. We've invited, oh, we've got babies. We've got babies screaming, so we better take care of that. Uh, we have to, oh, super efficient baby care. And you don't have super efficient baby care yet, do you? Oh, you do. Okay, way to go, Maeve. All right, and everybody's collected some water or some snow because... Uh, Orn thinks maybe. Yeah, sure. Okay, look at this. We're going to do some tandem super efficient baby care. I just got to get this on film because that's going to be too awesome. Oh my gosh, it was completely in sync. That was great. All right. So great. Okay, so we do have two little, this is baby Ulf and baby Trish, and this is our non-merman, Orn. And so, yeah, the kids are all here. We've got to get our little Sam on her way so she gets things she's got to work on her as a rambunctious scamp. And she, uh, Maeve, is ready to move forward she could possibly get a promotion today, so let's hope. I am actually going to try to have Maeve's single event because it doesn't have to be a gold party. She just has to cook three gourmet dishes at a single event. So we're going to go ahead and do a black and white bash. It can't be a gold event, but that's okay. And FYI, I've added my wedding stories, but I don't like the my wedding stories weddings. So, uh, Mexi Sims, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it'll be in the link below, uh, created a mod so you can have base game weddings and my wedding stories. And those are found actually on the phone, so that would be right here. So we're going to do a black and white bash, and our hostess will be Maeve, and the... Everybody else who is currently here will be my guests. 
no caterer, no mixologist, and no entertainer. And that will happen right here at the Snowy Escape residence. Okay, gorgeous. All right, so the only goal for her is to cook three gourmet meals, cook fine grub, which also qualifies as for her talk like a pirate thing. So we are going to cook a cake because she needs one, and then we'll cook a couple other things. Go for it, Maeve. You've got this. And what are you going to wear, Rhea? That's an interesting look. Your tights are ripped. Not, I'm just going to point that out. Your tights are ripped. Okay, and let's see what, I, what everyone else is wearing. Okay. Where's she? Not going to the nearest counter. No, let's go to the laundry room and cook in there. Little sister is going across the monkey bars. Just has to make it across three times. Even though it's cold out, she's just wearing a tank top. That's fine. You do you. And despite being a very skillful chef, there is a fire on the, on the property. And let's see, maybe Rhea can put it out because she's fireproof. Come on, Rhea, you can do this. Or just freak out. And I don't know. Of course. Everybody freak out. The fire the fire department is coming, hopefully. Oh good, Maeve put it out. Okay, everybody, that's fine. That's fine. Good job. And Best Sterling just called. Hey, hey, champ. So I get this. I have a cool business idea. This is going to be the big one, but uh, I need a few more simoleons to get it off the ground. Like a thousand simoleons. Do you think you could help a buddy out? You'll get it all back and then some, I swear. Yep. Go ahead, Bess. I'm kind of liking the look of the kids all in the formals, the black and whites. That's pretty cool with some mixed up tights like Maeve is wearing some red ones. Ray is wearing purple. Frank has got striped. Okay, where's Sam? What's she doing? Okay, Sam, why don't you collect some snow? Never a bad idea to gather snow. Okay, good job. And even though the party's not over, Maeve achieved her objective, which was to cook three gourmet dishes at a single event. It was one cake and then two caprese salads, and that's all we needed. Okay, who's calling? Ella Barnes, congratulations to the new addition on the family. Yay! Of course, I always have a new addition. And this one, uh, Quint, am I the only one that thinks he looks a lot like Nightcrawler from the X-Men? I just think he does. I think his skin tone, the black hair, it just works. Okay, so she's at work, and Maeve has been assigned the intern to train and manage. How should she handle her intern to assign coffee duty or assign the tough tasks? Well, here's the thing about restaurant work. You don't get good just standing around watching other people do it. So we're going to assign the tough tasks. And she started fledgling entrepreneur skill through hustling to build this skill, but mostly fortune weights. So, okay, so she's got... Uh, performance gain and some charisma so yay good job and leaving with a great mood from a party Maeve came home with a promotion great job it could actually happen not likely but could happen that she finishes her commitment in this episode again not likely but we'll see and with this house being a little more condensed Rhea decided to help her da eldest daughter or eldest daughter in the home I should say with some painting. Go ahead and sell that. Good job. Although now she's out of inspiration, so might need to get into inspiration again. And I love this notification right over here. A fox is stalking around your home. Hide your hens, hide your eggs. That's like, hide your children, hide your wives. 
that was a viral video that went, well, viral. And we decorated for Christmas here in Mount Comorabi, and we're going to have an old-fashioned Christmas, sort of. Yeah? Okay. And the family is gathered round to open presents. Let's see what we're getting. Frank got something. Oh, let's see. Little sister Sam, what you got? What you get, Sam? Raya got something. Sam got a blarfy. Raya got a train engine. Yay! Oh, and there we go. Literally nothing other than sadness and lies for Maeve. That sucks. And it's time to make sure we line up a new baby daddy. This is Tomax Colette, a spellcaster. So let's go ahead and lay it on, Miss Rhea. You know what to do. All right, she's got the friendship out of the way. And bing, he is now flirty, or he should be. Okay, there we go. He's very flirty. All right, and let's go in for the first kiss because you got it, Rhea. Nobody does this as well as her. Okay, go ahead. Don't just stand there and look at him. Go in for it. Woo! All right. Good girl. Let's check to make sure we got a woohoo option. And she does. It's on the shower, so we've got everything we need. Maybe go ahead for another little mistletoe kiss because it's Christmas. Yay. And oh my gosh, he laid one on her. Great job. Okay. Good job, Rhea. You got your you got your next baby daddy lined up. Thanks, Tomax. We'll see you soon. And Santa Claus came and everybody's happy. Yay. And Maeve was waiting for this. Oh, she got a powerful PC. Yay. Yay, Maeve. And little Sam is getting a present, too. And you know what? Rhea's going to seek a different present. Okay, so she just beguiled him. Thank you, Santa. Oh, oh. All right. So, Rhea, you put the moves on this guy because, you know what? We could have a magical baby. And I don't know if he counts as an occult baby. He does for the occult baby challenge. But, uh, and I didn't count him as, as an occult baby for my last baby challenge. But let's just do it. Come on. Oh, nope. Off he goes. Bye, Santa. I guess he's up, going up. All right, bye. We can always call him. And Blythe came by for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Hi, Blythe. You're my favorite. Although Mavis working really hard at that. Let's have a deep personal conversation, you and I. How's life going in the school of for wayward toddlers? And feel excited is here. Feel excited. Feel excited. Okay, he's here, so let's become friends with him. Making sure that, see, instantly, you're happy. Let them know that they're welcome. That is an important way to deal with ghosts. That's the best way. Let them know that they're welcome. They're, we're not going to exercise you. We just want you to feel at home. And I just got the notification that it is the baby's birthday. So let's go ahead and get them grown up. And we will actually head back to Henford on Bagley right after I harvest the trees because I brought the trees with me. And some tandem twin growing up. Oh, yay! I couldn't believe that I did that quite so well. All right. Ulf is a charmer. And Trish is independent. Okay, great. <laughs> Two little blonde-haired, minty-colored beans. Now, fun fact, this house that we're in right now was actually made for the mint generation of my not so berry, and they had aliens this color throughout the, gener throughout the yeah, 
so that was fun okay so look at them oh so cute the whole family is in the kids room right now while we try to get this little guy potty trained everybody's angry because let's see both both of the toddlers have been attacked by voodoo very sad very very sad and nobody else has but that sucks for them and little Sam here just finished her artistic prodigy her holiday weekend has been amazing because she's finished motor social and creativity she hasn't finished mental uh, and if she does great if she doesn't that's fine too because <laughs> that's not required for the baby challenge yeah, back on the homestead, we really enjoyed the just change of scenery. I had wanted to see if Rhea could participate in any sports, but she can't because she's pregnant. Yeah, but a uh, little girl here, um, Sam, she actually has, like I said, she's completed three childhood aspirations over the weekend, and Maeve is pretty much set. I mean, she's going to go to work in six hours and she is on good pace to actually come home with a promotion today. So she might actually fulfill her goal, which means that either Sam, who is a little kleptomaniac or one of the, one of these little blueberries gets to fulfill a goal. So we'll see what happens. So now that it's back to farm life, the toddlers are watching each other, learning potty skills. Yes, you go. We've got Rhea learning how to knit, something she's never done before, but it's a very wholesome country kind of thing to do. I've got a noisy cat here. Rhea would like a cat, but she can't have one. Just saying. Ulf just got a level of potty skill by watching Trish, so good job. And Trish watched Ulf as he was getting potty trained. Knitting brings joy. Rhea seems to love the purling the perfect row. Should she gain the likes knitting preference? Absolutely, Rhea. That's just so wholesome for you. I love that for you. You're just my wholesome mommy. Yes. And you just knit the amazing Technicolor neck scarf. Good for you. Ooh, feel excited is here. Yeah, we can be best friends with him. Sure, too bad I can't have a baby with you. So we got a call from the school. Sam got sick and threw up in the hallway. Let's just do a thorough health check because we like responsibility, especially since it's really looking like Sam might be sticking around for a while, which makes me really glad that she got three out of four. And if she is going to stick around, we'll get her that fourth one too of the kid aspirations. And now Maeve is regaining her passion for the culinary arts. And hopefully between this and the fact that she's having a great day, she'll bring that promotion home. Oh, please. And the twins are actually working on their uh, thinking skills. So that's awesome. You, you do you excellent. Maeve is so cute. I actually, you know what? I think she... And Blythe are tied. Felix wants to become good friends with Maeve, even though she's never so much as said hello to him. Hi, Felix. Excited. All right. She's passionate about the culinary arts. She's off. She's going. And who's calling Raya? Okay. Yep. Best. Go ahead. Take a thousand. We don't care. We got plenty. We got money to share. And Clement just wants to know if she'll be his girlfriend, if Ray will be his girlfriend. Um, hmm. For now, let's just say, of course. <laughs> She's going to cheat on him, but okay. Well, actually, maybe not. That's hilarious, though. Okay, so on her lunch break, she's got about 30 minutes of free time. How should she spend it? Either go to the gym or read blogs. Let's go ahead and read blogs. Performance gain medium. Excellent. Let's see how you're standing currently. Okay, I have to be on the right page. Oh, you're so good. Okay, hopefully this will work because she is so close. 
Good job, Sam, for coming home with a B on your first day at school. Yay, you go, girl, you little sociopath. Although if she does become the my next helper, then I will actually have her do a retrading potion. So there's that. And Maeve did it. She came home. She has finished her Master Chef, which means she is growing up. Well, I mean, she's grown up, but she is moving out. We're going to give her a cool million for her service. And thank you so much, Maeve. Go be a productive citizen. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so I said goodbye to Miss Maeve. I gave her that cool million that I said, and I also went in and gave Blythe a million. I don't think I gave Hal that much, but he actually didn't spend any additional time because he completed everything like a couple days into his teenagehood. So uh, he didn't work as hard. He didn't. He didn't put in the time. But so I. Now we we get to choose the next challenge. So the one that Maeve just completed was the filthy challenge. So we get to take that away. And we still have eight challenges left. We'll go to random.org, generate eight. It's the fifth one. So whichever one is the fifth, one, two, three, four, five, reduce and recycle. That is the one that our little gal Sam is going to work on. And Sam's getting it. Okay, so yeah, we'll take away her kleptomaniac trait. But we'll only do that with a retrading potion. We don't just, we're not going to just take it away. So now it's just Raya and yeah. Sam and the twins. Santa's hanging out while Rhea does some active mothering. She's like, I just want you to know that in the very near future, you're going to have to become a conservation expert. Or something like that. I don't exactly remember which. It's the top of the uh, career that comes with eco-living. And Maeve is visiting. Oh, sh I, we should give her a key to the house. She should be able to come and go as she pleases. So the only thing she has to do is actually get an A, which she should do tomorrow. Or, I mean, she's got other things to do, but she should be able to complete this before. The biggest problem with the mental is actually getting them to read. That's a pain in the rear. And my little queen here just mastered her mental skills, so the only thing she has to do is come home with an A, and she is fully equipped, like, fully equipped to grow up. Good girl. And the twins are hungry, so they're going to get some elote or elote or whatever that is. Corn on the cob. Have a great day at school, Sam. Make good choices. And here we are at the Wilwright Memorial Hospital. Rhea, it's time to do what you do. Trevor will come along and be not a whole lot of help, but that's what the way he always does. It's fine. You know what you're doing. This is old hat. Even though this is a new hospital, you know where you're going. You got this. Now, hopefully, he does help the way he didn't last time. Okay, he's showing up. I just noticed that they've got Elmer's glue here to put things back where they belong. And I do know this is a boy because I do have MC Command Center. And it's only one, unless something goes very strange. Okay, it's a boy. And my friend Faye suggested Vic, just like that. So that's what we're calling him. Oops, and I forgot to give him his last name. That's okay. Is there another one? This is taking a while. 
Now I'm getting nervous. Okay, just one. All right. And he's green, so that's one more baby down. Like, well, because he counts for two, and she still got her baby bump, but it'll go away. And that is done. Okay, so I stopped by Glimmerbrook, and, oh, she's enjoying the snow. Stopped by Glimmerbrook's and picked up Tomax on the way home. Let's do this, Tomax. Let's try for a baby. Come on, let's go. I was going to do Santa, but she's got space for triplets, and if she's going to have triplets, I want to make sure they each count twice, or they have at least the opportunity to count twice. Hey, you want to have a baby? Let me check my phone. Oh, okay. All right, sounds good. Hey, GeekCon is on. No, 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 Waylon, but thanks for offering. Okay, are we going to go? Yep, there we go. Off to the woohoo bush. All right. No sense in wasting time. Okay, let's go see if it took. Okay, this is funny. Remy Watson just came as a welcome wagon because they just moved in 24 hours ago. But, you know, they moved in a long time ago. But that was funny. Okay, go go take your pregnancy test, please. And she's eating for two. Let's go let him know. Hey, guess what? I'm going to have another one of those, but I, I don't really need you to be part of it. So, you know, can we just be friends? Just look at the baby while... She's just looking at the baby while he's suffering. And the, 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 like, seriously, you can actually pick him up. Pick him up. Pick up the baby. Don't just stare at him. Pick him up. There we go. Okay, and I was not necessarily preparing her as my next as my next helper around the house. But I'd like to real quickly brag on her. She is top of creativity, mental, motor, and social. And she's ready to go on and be my next volunteer. <laughs> so we will blow out the candles. You are ready to grow up. And we're still going to randomize her traits. But we will actually give her a retraining potion. Okay, happy birthday, Sam. You got this. Any day now? I was told that this was fixed. There we go. And she's athletic. Okay, and we're going to... Roll for the aspiration she will eventually fulfill. And she rolled a number one, so friend of the animals. Okay, I guess she's going to be a vet someday, but not now. And we'll give her and the twins makeovers, and we'll actually fix the twins' last names. So I really liked the hair and the skin details that... Sam was actually actually grew up into this is actually a pets or I should say cats and dogs hair which I've never used before I really like the ombre look uh, she has custom brows and I don't usually do custom brows I usually prefer non but I also liked her skin details so I pretty much left her I didn't require a lot of customization and I just uh, chose some stylized looks for her just because that's quick it's easy I really like the, really like the high school year's clothes. They really did a great job with that, especially because she'll be a young adult 
while she's in my home. So that that's it, you know, just a just a few outfits just to kind of cover bases, make sure everything's taken care of. And of course the twins, I'll I'll give them something too. So Rhea is only having one baby. It's a girl. It will begin with W, so I need a name for that. And that's pretty much all we are, uh, we need to know. Um, it's the civil designer career that Sam has to pursue, so I'm getting her some handiness skills to also up her responsibility as well as get the skills that she needs to get her A tomorrow. And then she's ready to really pursue her life. And I'll see you soon in the pixelated world. That's all I have to say. BK out.